Hey guys, Adam from Lazy Guy DIY with a quick tip of the day. Uh, the other day I posted a picture of some dado cuts and I got a lot of questions about it because I did not use a router and I did not use a table saw. So it really threw some people for a loop. And what I used instead was a sliding compound miter saw. It's a little different approach. I actually like it better if the material allows for it because it's a little more accurate. So uh, why don't we take a look exactly how I did it. One thing to keep in mind is that you need to make sure your sliding miter saw has a depth stop feature. It should be a little screw down knob on the side of your saw. No desktop and this method will not work. Go ahead and mark out your cut area of your data groove. I pre-measured the thickness of material I'm using for shelving and then marked it with a speed square to prep my cut. You'll notice that I'm also using a scrap piece of wood as a spacer. The reason for this is depending on the thickness of the material, the curvature of the saw blade may not extend the cut all the way to the end of the material. A spacer solves that issue and allows the slider to fully make your cut. When you have everything all lined up, go ahead and make your first pass. Slightly shift the piece and line up the next cut. Continue to make passes until your data is cut to the desired width. You may have to make minor adjustments, but this is a fast and easy way to make dados, as long as your material stays within the crosscut capabilities of your saw. For more tips and tricks like this, be sure to visit LazyGuyDIY.com.